Hello everyone, I'm Mike Chapman, Creative Director on Sea of Thieves, and I wish everybody a happy Gamescom. I hope you're having a wonderful time out there celebrating games over in Germany. And it's been an exciting year on Sea of Thieves since the last Gamescom. We had the launch of Season 8 with a new PvP factions with the Servants of the Flame for Captain Flameheart and the Guardians of Athena's Fortune, and that ability to dive for on-demand ship battles when you want it. Beyond that, we had the sandbox focus of Season 9 with a Chest of Fortune and revisiting all those wonderful world events. We've had further adventures and we had our second mystery. And more recently, this year, at the Xbox Showcase, we announced The Legend of Monkey Island, our latest collaboration to just bring those beloved characters and the world of Monkey Island to the pirate world of Sea of Thieves. Last month, we released the first part of our three-part story, The Journey to Malay Island. And this tale saw you adventuring across the town on Malay Island, uncovering what has happened to Governor Guybrush Threepwood and why everyone believes he is the legend of Monkey Island. As part of unravelling more of that story, you got to experience some of the explorative gameplay and the puzzle solving, which is a real first for us in the Sea of Thieves. And if you got to play the tale, I'm sure you'll agree that we were incredibly passionate about bringing that classic point and click gameplay feel where you get to really inhabit that space and solve puzzles out of order. We're really passionate about bringing that to Sea of Thieves in our immersive first person style. And the journey to Mali Island being the first part of our story was really about introducing you to how we brought the world and characters of Monkey Island to Sea of Thieves. And next week, we'll be releasing the second part of our story, the quest for Guybrush. And as part of your adventures in the quest for Guybrush, you'll get to explore Malay Island and all of its iconic locations, adventuring in the dark forest of Malay, visiting the Fettuccini brothers in the circus tent, visiting Stan in his ship shop, and visiting Meat Hook on Hook Island. And we couldn't not but bring insult sword fighting to the Sea of Thieves, such an iconic part of the Monkey Island world. And as part of those legendary trials, you'll need to build up your insults on your way to challenge the Swordmaster. Maile Island itself is a huge location, and we want to give you a little bit of help to get around this new location. So we're bringing zip lines to the Sea of Thieves. After acquiring the rubber chicken with a pulley in the Maile Island town, you'll be able to zip across the island and visit all these wonderful new locations. This, without doubt, is the longest and most sophisticated tall tale we've ever built. And we can't wait to see the fan reaction from Sea of Thieves fans and Monkey Island fans to the love and passion we've poured into this middle part of our epic story. And this story, The Quest for Guybrush, focuses on you embarking on the legendary three trials to save Guybrush. And this sets up our final tale and our grand finale that will see you, along with Guybrush, adventure to Monkey Island itself to confront LeChuck in his lair deep below that island. And as we look beyond the legend of Monkey Island, we look forward to getting season 10 in players' hands. And season 10 will bring new social options for crews in Sea of Thieves. Season 10 is also a little bit different. So beyond the release of that first content, we'll be adding new content each month. So making this a little bit of a special season coming to Sea of Thieves. And into next year, with a focus shifting away from more system-based features that were focused on expanding the sandbox, now we really want to enrich that new expanded sandbox experience of Sea of Thieves with new tools and new experiences to ensure that your journeys play out differently each time. We want to create more stories between players in Sea of Thieves than ever before. So looking to next year, we're more excited than ever for the voyage that Sea of Thieves has got ahead. And that voyage is far, far from over. There's so many more possibilities and new experiences that we're excited to bring to the game. So I wish you all a very happy Gamescom and we'll see you on the waves.